Hey, Scruffy. Start ringing again, huh? Okay. <clears throat> well, looks like you don't want to move, so I'll bring out your food. So I have a fresh can of party cuts with real chicken and beef, and kibble, and pork turkey. So this is the end of the current bag of turkey. I'll have to thaw out another one, but I might hold off on that for a little bit. Since I've been feeding you so much. So it rained, I think, overnight, and then it stopped, I think, this morning. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it was clear until uh, this afternoon, very well. Yeah, it didn't rain until this afternoon again. So when I saw Scruffy at lunch, it had dried up and it was calm for the moment. But then, yeah, it started raining kind of late, mid-late afternoon. I was thinking I might have tried to go for a walk in that time period where it wasn't supposed to rain. But I've been still trying to get that, that smell out of the house. So I mentioned there's something that's like a skunk or a some sort of burnt smell. I am, I'm still not sure what it is. <clears throat> and it's been lingering. So it just suddenly came on uh, a couple nights ago in uh, one or two rooms. And I don't know what the source of that was. So I don't think the furnace was running at the time. And I don't think there was any obvious place where the smell would come from. I thought maybe it just got unlucky and some skunk passed by, like a ventilation <clears throat> vent or something from the outside and just happened to stink up that particular room. <clears throat> so I aired out the room the other day and I got rid of most of it. But yeah, there's still a lingering smell I haven't completely been able to get rid of. And I don't know if it's because it's like slightly trapped in the house somewhere, like uh, the vents where it came from, or if it's <clears throat> it just needs to kind of build up for a while. I I don't don't really understand it, but uh, so <clears throat> since it stopped raining, I thought I'd try to air out the house again, but I didn't. Yeah, so basically I'm. Didn't want to leave the house while I had everything open, and then I knew it was going to start raining again, so I didn't want to be gone when it started raining and all the doors and windows were open. <clears throat> so yeah, I didn't go out today, and I was trying to air out that room for a couple hours, and I think it helped, but yeah, we'll see. So I ran the furnace after, and I'm trying to figure out if the smell is going to come back. But yeah, it's a little colder today, so it's not a great day to try to air out the house because it made the house that much colder. <clears throat> so it was under a uh, electric shaw this afternoon trying to keep warm while the house is airing out. Yeah. Friendly meow there. Seemed like the little chin rub I was giving him.
Yeah, finding me. And uh, I don't know what else is going on. So I'm really bored of uh, my soup <laughs> for dinner. I've been basically eating it kind of nonstop and you know, kind of sick of it. Uh, so I think tonight I'm going to cook something different. So I'm having a craving for hamburgers. I haven't had one in a really, really long time. So I think yeah, I have a frozen hamburger patty. <clears throat> and uh, I think I'm going to cook it on the stove. I'd like to do the barbecue, but yeah, it's raining, so I don't want to use the barbecue right now. I'm going to try to cook it appropriately on the stove. I don't remember the last time I've had a hamburger. It's been a really long time. I'm feeling kind of lazy, so I don't feel like doing all the fixings, and I don't feel like cooking up, you know, my fries or anything like that. So I have some potatoes, but yeah, I don't feel like trying to cook fries or hash browns or something. Too much work. I don't know, maybe I'll cave in on the hash browns. So. Probably not, but I'm, I'm a little tempted. See if the See if the hamburger satisfies my cravings. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm also kind of craving uh, cheese, so I'm gonna make it a cheeseburger. But I think the craving for cheese has actually been from a grilled cheese sandwich, so I might have to take a patty melt or something. I'm trying to remember, but I think it's uh, I forgot the name of it, but I think it's in. Let's see. Wisconsin, there's a particular style of hamburger they do where basically they <clears throat> take two patties, you know, two meat patties, and then they put American cheese in between the two and they completely seal it inside. And, um, and then basically, the because it's American cheese, it melts melts real easily inside the hamburger and then um, it stays melted um, and so <clears throat> yeah when you I guess you eat the hamburger it gets yeah really nice cheesy center and I, I hear it's yeah it's a kind of a it's one of those local local things so I forgot they have a, I forgot there's a special name for their style of hamburger but yeah I've heard I think it's yeah just in like that region, so Wisconsin mostly, maybe Michigan, it carries over a little to Michigan. Like, I think it's, I think it's mostly Wisconsin. <clears throat> Swiffer likes the chin rubs tonight. Yeah, yeah, there. Looks like we're doing Scruffy's food. And it seems like that's night. It's pretty calm, too, considering I thought the weather might agitate him a little bit more. Yeah, it seems to be calm today. It's kind of friendly. Yeah, surprised he didn't come in uh, yesterday when it was raining. Or was it today? Actually, was it raining at lunch? I can't remember. <laughs> so, so one of those days where, yeah, it was raining. I thought he'd be more agitated when he come in at lunch, but he didn't.
when I say come in, he just kind of walks inside and then walks out. I don't think he actually really wants to be inside. I think he's just curious and then maybe thinking, that, is it better in here? And then he yeah, finds out, no, it's actually not. <laughs> okay, let's get your feed. Maybe Scruffy can sense all the garlic and onions I use. Let's see, this is disgusting. So yeah, garlic and onions are toxic to cats, so they might have a strong aversion to it. Yeah, I don't think I got any footage of Scruffy except at uh, lunch when I came out with the food and water. Hey, Scruffy. Hey, then. So now it rained overnight, but it's looking like it's mostly dry now. I don't know if it's going to rain more, but the sky's a little brighter. So I have your water and kibble. Maybe you're watered out, but I'm sure you'll enjoy the kibble. Kibble? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's do that. I think I'm going to have to help Scruffy tonight with the balls a little early. So he keeps moving the plate. So, you know, the past few days, uh, Scruffy's been pushing the plate around much harder. And the plate's been sliding. <clears throat> Not sure why that is. So I'm going to move the plate. <laughs> So the coast 
uh, coefficient of friction shouldn't have changed any. So I know it's been raining, but it doesn't get wet here, so... I mean, nothing really should have changed. I'm using the same, uh, same bowl, same plate, same balls, same, same food. <clears throat> I think Scruffy's just, uh, more aggressive about diving into the bowl. So I think Scruffy ate everything. Oh, that was fast tonight. He moved the balls. So that's probably why he kept moving the bowl. He's eating really fast. So yeah, this is a fresh can of Hardy Pets, so the gravy's liquefied, so it's probably uh, easier to clean the bowl today. Um, he has, and he has more trouble cleaning the bowl with the pate. It tends to like cling to the bowl. Whereas the, the gravy from the Hardy Pets tend not to cling as much. And I think he might like the gravies better than the pate. Okay, wow, Scruffy is in fast night. <clears throat> it's probably a good thing my hand's getting cold. It's a little colder tonight. Scruffy's probably amazed. Wow, it's already gone. What happened to all the food? Let's see, I think the past few nights he's actually been eating pretty slow. So we're giving him so much extra food. <clears throat> and he's still had extra food tonight. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.